So the next thing we are going to talk about is laying some text on this uh, on this label. So I'm going to go back to the More menu, and I'm going to choose the Text Tool. And again, I covered the details of the Text Tool quite a bit in the uh, in the book itself. So I'm going to pull up. I got some text left over from uh, something else. Let me just show you the text panel real quick. So this is the text panel. Um, and anytime you want to type text in, you've got to push into the box, the, te the text box. And I'm actually going to put in the name of this bottled water, which is from a hose. It's kind of a Swedish, uh, Swedish name for the uh, water bottle. <laughs> I am going to shrink this up. And again, the, the limitations on the text tool, one of them first and foremost is there's no size indicator. So it acts very similarly to um, any, any, uh, any type of content on the image itself. You've got these handles that you've got to work with, and I'm still a little bit too big, so I'm going to shrink that down just a little bit. And I'm going to place it right above the hose. Not going to cover too much in the text panel. Um, I actually used, uh, this is a new change for the latest, again, the latest rendition of Touch. Before, it only had maybe six or seven fonts that you could choose and now you can see the menu is quite extensive it not only has added a bunch of fonts it also pulls the fonts if I keep scrolling you'll see all of these fonts it actually pulls the fonts from the operating system from the iOS operating system so a much more robust list of fonts that you can use which is a great great step uh, it was a li huge limitation in the, in the other version of touch where you only had six fonts that you could pick from so this actually works out well. I'm actually using the Nueva Standard Bold. Uh, you've got italic if you want to, or none, neither. Um, so I am going to stick with, if it goes on here, it's giving me a little bit of a struggle. I'm going to go with the Standard Bold. And that's what it looks like right there. You've got some adjustments. I'm going to keep the text white. If your text isn't white, you can change the color if you'd like. You've got nudges, which I might need to nudge this a little bit to the right. And again, this is uh, very typical in the transform men menu as well. Uh, proportion lock, you've got grid lock, all the other same things that you would find in most, most transform type menus. So once I got the text exactly where I want it, I'm good to go. I'm going to hit the check mark. And just because I've got the, the white text over the hose itself, I'm going to add a drop shadow, which is going to give the text a little bit of depth from the rest. Uh, my angle is about 46%. My blur is 7 or 8 and I actually, these are set up from when I did it on the original. My distance is 8 and the opacity is 100%, which is full full opacity there. So I'm good with the drop shadow. I'm going to add another piece of text. And uh, so I'm going to go back into the text box here. And I'm going to add another piece of text called, got to identify what it is. So it's drinking h 2 drinking H2O. So let's see what size this is. This looks absolutely huge. So I'm going to shrink this down. Shrink it way down. Let me shrink my view here so I can mess around with it. And again, here herein lies the, some of the limitations with touch, but I'm going to make it relatively small. I'm going to drag it over here. And what I'm going to do is show you the rotation. So we're going to rotate this. There's my rotate button. I'm going to rotate that right on top of the water. And not only am I going to rotate it and where the water was coming out, I'm also going to skew it, vertically skew it, so it looks like it's coming out of the hose. Okay, so there's your vertical and horizontal skews and uh, your rotate tools within uh, the text tool. Same idea, I'm going to use the same exact font, and we'll keep it bold, keep it white. Good to go there, so I'm good there. You'll notice every time you make a new text piece, it creates its own layer too as well on the right side. Okay, so one more piece of text and we'll call it good for the text. I am gonna add a copyright symbol. And uh, I would tell you this, I, I uh, added a, an emoji keyboard just, just to find the copyright symbol so you'll see the globe. And if some of you are familiar with the emoji keyboard, it comes present on, on the iPad. You just go into your keyboards under your general settings and you can add the emoji keyboard on here. I've got my copyright symbol. I go back to my regular keys and I say copyright and I'll just put a date in there, 2014. Just call it like that. Lose the keyboard. 
pull this over. Come on, pull it over. And we'll resize it. Make it small. Oh. And the minute you make it too small, now you can't grab it. So I've got to expand my picture a little bit and I can drag it over. We'll put that in the bottom, bottom right corner. And same font as always. So let's see what this looks like here. 